And the Philippines' leading broadcaster has been ordered to shut down. The Telecoms Authority says ABS-CBN's license has expired. President Rodrigo Duterte has regularly criticized the network. Opposition groups accuse him of targeting independent media. Let's speak to Jamila Alindagan, our correspondent in Manila. Uh, Jamila, give us the background to this case and what does this decision today mean for the network? Will they be able to appeal it? Well, Foley, according to the National Telecommunications Commission, the order of deceased and deceased is actually immediately executory. That is something that also the Department of Justice, uh, Secretary of the Department of Justice said that it is, has to be implemented right away. However, ABS-CBN continues to air as we speak. It's about 7 p.m. local time. The letter was issued and was received this afternoon. But in the interviews of the commissioners of NTC with local channels here, it remains to be seen exactly how that will be implemented, whether law enforcement will have to come in to the network, network's grounds and to forcibly force everyone to stop its airing on free TV. Now, this is also a complete turnaround to the issued statement of the National Telecommunications Commission a few months ago that it may order and issue a provisional authority pending the renewal of the franchise of the network in Congress. Now, despite denials by spokespersons of the, of, of the president, um, that the president has anything to do with this. Last year, President Rodrigo Duterte himself said that he intends to shut down the network after it failed to air his campaign ads in 2016. Now, human rights experts say this comes at a very unfortunate time when the country, just like the rest of the world, is fighting a pandemic and the biggest media network with substations across the country with over 11,000 workers are unable to help with information dissemination. But despite the legalities fully, the questions of whether it has the right to air at this point. A lot of human rights experts and media experts are also saying that this really reeks of political persecution. This is an impervious curtailment of press freedom, and it's something really spawned by political and personal retribution fully. Thank, thank you very much, Jamila, for that. Jamila Alindagan, live for us in Manila.